Hey everybody, I'm back with another update of what's happening here in Southern Utah. And today I'm back in one of my favorite places, downtown St. George. Today we'll cover all the new restaurants and stores that are in the works and opening soon, as well as some of the new public buildings that are either finished or now being in the works. Uh, looking forward to showing you everything that's going on, so let's get started. First up, we'll talk about Pica Rica Barbecue that's set to go in here on Main Street where 25 Main used to be. Uh, they are nearing the finish line, I would say about a month or so, a month and a half away. Uh, this is gonna be real Texan barbecue that I know a lot of people are really excited to have here. They're gonna have an indoor uh, fast casual sit down as well as a back patio where they're gonna have the smokers uh, and some misters and all kinds of stuff. Uh, really looking forward to this one as I know a lot of people are, so stay tuned for the opening. Now staying in the same strip, in the old Rigatti's building, we've got Paletta's Gourmet Popsicles, a dessert shop that's going in. Uh, they are under construction, don't have a time frame just yet, but hoping to have some more info soon. Now heading over to Ancestor Square, right in the courtyard, I've mentioned there's gonna be a B-Sweet ice cream and coffee shop, as well as the Jailhouse Inn Airbnb. Uh, they're just waiting on a few things to finish up here. Uh, this is the old Sheriff's Station and Jailhouse. Uh, so it's a really cool renovation here. I know they're stoked to get open. It should be here in the next couple weeks. Now we'll head back south, uh, just past the Wells Fargo, where their drive through is. Uh, the city has just announced they acquired that land, and that's where the new city hall is going to be. This is going to be three different structures. Uh, they're going to have the city hall itself, a parking structure, as well as a plaza. Uh, the city hall is going to be 70,000 square feet, four and a half stories with 10,000 square feet of civic space uh, that the public can use. Uh, as well as a parking structure that'll have 308 stalls, four stories, two entrances, and they'll have some public art uh, displayed all throughout that. Uh, along with that will be a plaza that's gonna be 8,000 square feet that will be an extension to Town Square so they can host more events uh, and have more stuff going on down here. This is gonna be a really cool addition because it's right next to Town Square, uh, right here uh, on a perfect spot for it. Uh, and where they currently are is gonna lead to an expansion for the police station, which has been needed for some time. Uh, this is gonna be an 18 to 20 month project and they're set to start in August. Now just up from there in the old historic buildings where the Electric Theater and Capoletti's are at, we've got a few projects in the works. The first uh, that I've mentioned is the event space on the end in between the Electric Theater and the bank. Uh, this is gonna host uh, smaller events such as weddings, networking events, uh, different types of events here. Uh, they're set to be done by the end of the year, and I know it's going to be a huge addition for downtown for the event space. And then the other one is just a few spots down, just to the left of Capoletti's. Uh, they've got another project here. Uh, this one, they're just working through the plans with the city. Nothing's set just yet, but I know it's going to be something cool. Really looking forward to see what it is. Now just kitty corner from there, we've got the new Washington County building that you can't miss. Uh, it's a five-story building. They've now completed it. They are occupying. Uh, and I know they're really excited to be in here. This is gonna take the place of the two buildings where they've housed all the different departments for the county and consolidate it all into one. They've also got the Greater Zion Tourism uh, Visitor Center in here, which is gonna be insane. They're gonna have inter interactive maps of the entire Greater Zion. You're gonna be greeted by a photographic mural of Angel's Landing when you walk in. Lots of cool different things to showcase the beauty of uh, this area. And I know they're really excited to have that, as well as the uh, Red Cliffs Desert Reserve Discovery Center that they've merged into one. So between this and all the county departments, really excited to have this thing open. I know it's gonna be awesome for the county. Now just east from here, across from the new parking structure, we've got a new bridal shop that's been opened uh, recently. It's called Desert Rose Bride. And like I said, they're now open. Now heading further east from here, on the corner of 400 East and 100 South, a lot of people have seen the church building that was demolished uh, just recently. The plans here are for the new fire station headquarters of St. George uh, to be here. Uh, currently, fire station one is down on 100 South near the university in a really tight spot, and it's really hard to get in and out of. This one is gonna be 20,000 square feet, which more than doubles the size. They're gonna have a, more bays, more capabilities, um, and it was gonna be awesome for, for the city. Uh, the bays will come out onto 400 East, uh, so the building will be facing that way. Um, and I know they're really excited to get this thing done. Their plan is to start this in the fall and have it be open sometime in 2024. Now just heading north from here, crossing over St. George Boulevard, we've got the barbecue pit stop that is reopened under new ownership. Their grand opening is set for March 25th from 11 to two. They're gonna have barbecue food as well as Traeger will be there with giveaways and certificates. This is a barbecue essentials spot, so they'll have tra uh, Traegers and different kinds of smokers here 
as well as rubs and different materials. Uh, they're really excited to get this thing back open, so make sure to check them out March 25th. And lastly, we'll head to the extended part of downtown that I wanted to include as Switchpoint just announced their latest venture that they're up to. Uh, right next to their uh, thrift store here across from Tropical Smoothie, they're going to open Switchpoint Coffee Co., which is going to be a roastery where they will roast their own coffee and sell bags of it, as well as have drip coffee and pastries from Farmstead Bakery and Find Your Fit Bakery that they'll sell out of here. Their plan is to have their bags in retail stores uh, throughout town and hopefully throughout the country. And I know they're, they have really big goals and it's gonna be awesome for Switchpoint. Uh, really looking forward to seeing this one come together. They're hoping to be open by the end of this month. And that's a wrap guys. As you can see, a lot of good stuff happening here in downtown St. George. It gets better every single day and I love seeing it. For more info on what's happening here in Southern Utah, you can call me or text me 435-668-7293 or find me on Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn. Thanks guys.